Okay, here's a quick video about grinding crystals. So, you're going to need a couple things. You'll need a FT243 crystal. And you'll need a screwdriver to undo that. And then you're going to need some sandpaper. This one is a 500 grit sandpaper. And then you'll need a flat surface. And here on the table here, I have a uh, pane of glass. And you can barely see it there. And you're going to lay the sandpaper on the pane of glass and then use something to hold it down to keep it into position. And then you'll want to get some water and you're going to wet sand it so you can put the water on the sandpaper. And then once you remove the uh, contents of the crystal you'll end up with the crystal element here that looks like that and you're going to put it on the sandpaper here and you're going to use your finger to hold it down and grind it in a figure eight pattern so normally you want to do it uh, depending on how far away from you you are from your frequency 25 times or something flip it over do it 25 more times and then put it in the water, clean it off, dry it, and then you can put it back in the crystal holder here and then measure its frequency to see how far it went. Sometimes it only moves by 1 kilohertz, sometimes 5 or 10, depending on how many times you, um, you grind it here. Okay, initial measurement of the crystal is 6.996 megahertz. So then we are going to grind it and then move the resonance frequency up. So this is a nano VNA. And as you can see, the little cursor here is at the peak, which says 6.996 megahertz. And then we have these uh, coaxes over here that go to some alligator clips and then here is the crystal itself uh, strapped into the setup here. Okay, once you've undone the three screws here, be careful because there's a spring right here that will uh, pop off of there and disappear and go everywhere so make sure you hold the FT243 case um, while you're undoing those screws and then right here the next layer is a non-conductive uh, spacer so if you hold it sideways you can take out that little spacer and then there's a metal contact that goes to one of the legs. You kind of have to bend that back just slightly. Be very careful because that can break off. And then take the contents out. So you'll see that you get uh, two metallic pieces and then the actual crystal wafer right there. That's the part we're going to actually grind. Okay, and then flip it over. Okay, and then we'll want to rinse it off here in the water. and then dry it on a paper towel or a microfiber cloth and make sure that the crystal element is dry
and then you're going to reassemble it inside of the crystal holder. Okay, once you've got to the end, you'll hook the crystal back up and then remeasure the frequency here. And showing the peak here is 7.015 megahertz. And you should see a sharp uh, peak and then a sharp dip. Uh, the sharp peak is the series resonance, and the sharp dip is the parallel resonance of the crystal. Once you're done, you can label your crystal with the frequency and give it a try in your transmitter.